Welcome and thank you for your interest in the EPS Transportation Cost Management System, a module in the EPS Cost Management Suite, the leading costing system for the pulp and paper industry. If you have any questions about the contents in this video, please feel free to contact us at your earliest convenience. First, an introduction to our company. EPS is a software and consulting company located in Atlanta, Georgia that specializes in cost management systems for complex and process manufacturing industries. We have customers in North America, Europe, and China. We have special cost management competence for the pulp and paper, semiconductor, steel, furniture, and bakery industries. Our customers include well-known pulp and paper companies like SCA, UPN Kumina, Boise, Mondi, and many more. In the pulp and paper industry, we also have a strong partnership with Tieto, the leading IT provider to this industry. The EPS cost management suite is designed for the pulp and paper industry and is made up of three modules. EPS real-time costing, EPS Product Cost Management, and EPS Transportation Cost Management. Customers can decide to implement one, two, or all of these modules based on their needs. Here follows a high-level description of the EPS Transportation Cost Management System. The EPS Transportation Cost Management System explains logistic cost as variances between the actual cost and a benchmark, which could be the budget or prior period costs. The variances are grouped into categories like volume variance, customer mix variance, distribution mix variance, and carrier charge variances, reflecting key cost drivers like routes, modes, carriers, customer locations, and product mixes. The EPS Transportation Cost Management System permits the organization to monitor the impact on distribution cost of decision regarding source mills, shipping routes, modes of transport, for example rail versus truck, and specific carriers used to deliver products to the customers. The ability to express managerial decisions in financial terms creates a company-wide awareness of cost behavior and sensitivities, allowing a superior cost control and increased distribution network efficiencies. A continuous variance analysis cycle results in improvements to the detail and accuracy of distribution budgets and sets more realistic expectations of future transportation expenses. The analysis of unfavorable transportation cost variances will uncover areas for cost savings that will fuel a continuous transportation cost savings campaign. Structurally, the module consists of two main components. The planned transportation cost, which is the benchmark, and the actual transportation cost. A detailed transportation budget is one type of benchmark, in which case a sales forecast is applied to a predetermined set of shipping patterns to arrive at a planned shipment, which then are costed by budgeted transportation rates. Actual transportation costs from prior periods is the other type of benchmark. The benchmark needs to have the same level of detail as the actual side of the module. Transportation cost variances are calculated by transport dimension, keeping all other things equal. The following graph is an example of variance analysis reporting supported by the EPS Transportation Cost Management Module. To the left, we can see a blue column representing a planned transportation cost of $102.59 per metric ton. To the right, we can see another blue column, which represents an actual transportation cost for the period at $102.99 per ton. The difference between the two is explained by a series of red, unfavorable, and green, favorable bars that correspond to individual variance categories. Although the difference between the plan and the actual is seemingly insignificant, the analysis identifies the following opportunities for cost reduction. Unfavorable freight rate, mode, customer mix, first leg freight rate, 
storage and handling, and other shipping expense variances represent a potential cost reduction opportunity of 3.67 per metric ton. The following is an example of an actionable red flag reporting, identifying the top contributors to unfavorable mode and freight rate variances. Customer A, located in New York, is a top contributor to the unfavorable mode variance. Shipping to this customer resulted in a $36.6 thousand dollar cost overrun. The overrun was caused by a suboptimal use of the preferred mode, rail. As shown in the report, only 50% of the actual shipped volume was shipped by rail versus 95% planned. For an unfavorable freight rate variance, the top contributor had a cost overrun of $30.8,000. This was caused by a significantly higher actual rate of $120 per ship metric ton versus $98 planned. This was a short introduction to EPS Transportation Cost Management, one of the three modules in the EPS Cost Management Suite. We hope that you have found this presentation interesting and useful. If you have any questions about the contents in this video, please feel free to contact us at your earliest convenience. Goodbye and thank you for your interest in EPS Transportation Cost Management a module in the EPS Cost Management Suite, the leading costing system for the pulp and paper industry. This was a short introduction to the three modules in the EPS Cost Management Suite. We hope that you have found this presentation interesting and useful. If you have any questions about the contents on this video, please feel free to contact us at your earliest convenience. Goodbye and thank you for your interest in the EPS Cost Management Suite, the leading costing system for the pulp and paper industry.